hello hello welcome everybody welcome to my channel for those of you who have no idea who I am my name is Simone Bailey Campbell and I'm an artist a visual artist a furniture designer and yes a candle maker no seriously seriously I make candles and I'll be making candles on this channel too but this channel is all about exploring my artistic shenanigans and so I am welcoming you to join me on this journey okay so enjoy so there are a few projects I'm going to be working on uh, I'll be doing candles and some other intermediate projects but the long-term project the project is going to that's going to run at least for the next for this year and maybe a little bit into now for this this year and maybe a little bit into next year is called the woman I love and it's um it's a portrait project and I'm not really it's my first set of portraits but um it's it's 31 of some of my favorite women favorite friends that I love so I just picked 31 because I thought 31 felt like a good number and I have them all on this list okay so the list is in no particular order and uh, I just go through and pick you know the next one to do the next one to do so here's how this project is so it's all 31 it's all all the women on this list are women that I personally know and that I love for all different kinds of reasons and um, uh, the parameters of this project is so they give so I get a picture I get a photograph I take the photograph they send me a photograph and I ask them to give me a word it could be a word that describe them describes who they are what they're feeling it's their word and they give it to me and then I translate all of that into my own vision of what I think it is so that's the parameters of the project so it's 31 and I've only done six and from the six that I have done I'm just calling them a work in progress because I want to do them bigger now you see this picture behind me here that was number one okay and this is my friend Natalie and her picture was beauty and so I wanted it to be an African kind of beauty, painted face. So that's Natalie there. And I like that size. So I'm going to do them all that size. So I'm working on number seven. And I'm going to turn the camera around and just uh, go through a few of the ones that I did before. And then we could um, take it from there. All right. One second, guys. So let me introduce you to some of the ladies that I've done so far. So this is Natalie. <clears throat> Sorry, and her word was beauty. Okay, and she was the first one. And so I did a few of them. Okay, and this is um, Carmen. And her word was passion. And this is Contessa and um, her word is freedom so I end up doing um, I did two well actually I do a few of them all the time before you know I decide okay this is Grange <clears throat> and her word is badass This is Tina, and she's devoted, and I interpret it devoted like a warrior. And I did different, I've done different versions, but I'm just giving you an idea. And then this is my other friend. Her word was wonder, as in Wonder Woman. So this is Mickey, and her word is the communicator so before I go into what I 
<laughs> love uh, making um, or I'll just tell you a bit more about my process so all my ladies start out as line drawings and then from line drawings I add uh, different elements that I use to kind of tell the story to interpret the word and uh, tell the story or tell something about why I love them at least that's what <laughs> I try to do so <clears throat> From that point, excuse my scratchy voice, from that point I um, do a couple of studies and some uh, color studies uh, which are sometimes in color pencil or in a, a quick watercolor wash so to speak. It's usually very light and this is what I'm doing. And it's just on paper, so it usually look, it usually look a little funny and dark while it's kind of wet. So that's what you're seeing here. And so Mickey, uh, okay, so I need to go back a little bit and set it up for you so you can understand. So in my neighborhood, there used to be this bakery. It's no longer there. It was, it's been, it used to be there for years for many years and um, it was owned by different owners so Mickey would um, run the bakery and um, we used to go there almost every weekend really just to hang out it was like the local hangout spot and you would see people um, <clears throat> regularly on the weekends they'd come in to get something for themselves or the kids or a party donuts cakes the usual yummy delights <laughs> so and then we'd end up hanging out there she'd open early so we'd end up end up hanging out there you know a little bit in the morning or Sunday after church and just shoot the sh shoot the shit with the neighbors and discuss all kind of stuff. It's like <laughs> it's like the barber shop, that kind of atmosphere. And Mickey's like a bartender, you know, in a bar where you you just go and hang out and tell her your life story or what's bugging you. She is the the moderator, the ear to listen, your friend. So we became really good. I, I used to go there just for coffee and I'd end up sitting there chatting with her. And so she just became a really good friend. A really good friend. And she's sweet and um, understanding, uh, lovable, straightforward. You just can't help but love her and do not cross her, okay? So the motives in this, <laughs> the motives in this um, <laughs> portrait is the donuts. I try to use the donuts as uh, the pattern, and then the cat kind of represents all the animals in her life, because animals love her, and she's had all kind of different animals: cats, dogs, birds, rabbits. Um, and she grows her own vegetables and so the flowers is like a gift in the portrait to her as re as and also represents the flowers and plants that she grows so that's what that portrait is trying to say <laughs> in one step so i don't even know if this is the right one but the whole thing about doing this series is that to make to do them quicker and not to second guess them too much and just to play and to have fun so that's what I'm doing from this point I'll just go on I'm going to do uh, the other 
painting on um, watercolor paper, which is a thicker paper that will hold the water much better. And it pro would probably be more intense. And um, we'll see how it comes out. You know, I have this kind of drippy style. <laughs> I call it the, the blood from my heart that drips. My love that drips from painting. So we'll see. Sometimes they're better and sometimes they're worse. <laughs> uh, the, the, the thing about art and painting is that I personally never know how it's going to come out. And so it's just a surprise <laughs> to me as it is to you. So that's what this is about.